Welcome to my very short recap of Game 10 of the 2023 FIDE Women's World Chess Championship. The series is tied at four and a half games apiece. In this game, the defending champ had the white pieces, the challenger had the black pieces. Once again, the defending champ opened with the Zuckertort opening, but after a couple of moves it transposed into a version of the English, and it looked like, as with all the other openings that we've seen in this tournament, both players were very familiar with the opening. Uh, they played book moves out to about move 14, and it looked like neither one of them spent a lot of time, especially the challenger who has more than 90 minutes left on her clock, which I believe is more than she started with. So she's playing all of these moves from her prep. The defending champ has spent just a little bit more time, but still nothing significant at this point. Out to about move 14, as I said, they are following moves that have been played in games before, according to the opening database. Here is where they changed, played a, I think what's called a novelty in the last game that saw this, which was in 2017. White played rook to c1. And this is also where both of them began to spend more time in the opening. The defending champ spent quite a bit of time here and then played knight to d2. Looked like more than 20 minutes came off our clock for that move. And now they're in completely new territory. This is also probably a good spot to mention that the game review on Lee Chess once again says they both played with 99% accuracy with an average sent upon loss of 3 for the challenger and 2 for the defending champ. Which once again is spectacular and just nearly perfect play. Neither one of them got into time trouble here. It looks like they both have 30-something minutes left, 20-something minutes left. And as they get close to their bonus time after move 40, neither one of them was in time trouble here. Looked like they both had, I, I want to say, 18 minutes left when that time came. And once they've traded off the rooks and the queens and all the minor pieces, this is an easily holdable draw for either side. As I've said before, I could probably lose with either color in these positions, but... Here on move 39, yes, they both have 18 minutes left, and then after the next moves, they each get their bonus time. So now they have each more than 45 minutes left to hold this draw. It's not much of a stretch to say that two grandmasters should be able to hold this, and they did. Uh, there was a repetition right here, and the draw was declared. And once again, if you want an incredibly deep analysis, go to a channel with a grandmaster or some other titled player or chess coach. I'm just here to appreciate this, and to give you the shortest possible recap of what happened. Now the series is tied up at five apiece. There are two games of classical time controls left. In the next one, the challenger will have the white pieces, and in the final one, the defending champ will have the white pieces one more time. If either one of them wins either one of those games, it's over, and that's the new world women's world champion. And if neither one of them wins one of those games, then we go into increasingly shorter time controls for the tie breaks. Thank you for spending your time here, and I'll see you next time.